Uh, next, we have in terms of technology, again, Tesla, the company, the makers of electric vehicles, right? Obviously, if, you're, if you own an electric vehicle, you need it to be charged by a, uh, a, a charger of sorts. Now, in the case of tech, uh, Tesla, uh, they also produce, uh, not necessarily produce, but they also generate electricity by charging, not necessarily, they, they store electricity in their, what they call a mega pack. So that you could use it similar to how a generator works instead of a uh, using fuel to to power the the generator it's using electricity here anyway according to ngadget.com uh a tesla mega pack caught fire uh, at the victorian big factory a uh, back factory battery facility in australia so uh obviously australia is a big adapter of renewable energy trying to shift away from fossil fuel here which is not good for the environment but obviously the technology hasn't been i wouldn't say fully formed but there are still risks involved like in this case imagine if your car which is powered by a battery uh, and then it suddenly explodes so imagine what happened i think years back with a samsung uh, galaxy note right they were they recently introduced that and then uh a person was scaring it in the airplane and then it caught fire all of a sudden now that was easily addressed but if that were to happen inside a car that could be catastrophic here but in this case it's just a, a mega pack for storing electricity here but anyway uh a 13 ton tesla mega pack caught fire uh at the battery uh, battery storage facility as mentioned in australia so obviously it caught fire uh Actually, they had to call in regional fire service to fight the fire and go to, what's the site here? Geelong? Geelong, Victoria? I hope I'm pronouncing it. Anyway, so what's interesting here, uh, how severe was the fire? They had to evacuate the entire area here. Now, obviously, uh, thank goodness there were no injuries that occurred there. But what's interesting here, uh, because of the fire... Uh, a warning of toxic smoke uh, has been issued in the nearby area in Batesford, uh, Bell Post Hill, as well as Lovely Banks and Murabul areas. So meaning the fire that, you know, the, the fire it, uh, it exhausts or the, 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 the toxic that it, it uh, generates from the fire can be deadly. And obviously, you know, containing that fire is important here because imagine if, you know, it was a big widespread uh, fire, could be dangerous, you know, and no one wants, you know, uh, significant fatalities here. And obviously, the technology is still considered new per se. So, understanding what the reason here, I think the company is trying to find out now as to what led to the, uh, the fire here. And hopefully, they can uh, solve that issue quickly, sooner rather than later. And even to the point that residents were warned to stay indoors, close the windows and vents in fireplaces uh, and bring pets inside. So that's how bad that it could be. So imagine it was just a small scale incident. And if it were to turn into a big fire, who knows what could have happened there. But thankfully that did not happen regardless. But what's interesting here is that the Victorian bat uh, big battery site is... Uh, housing a 300 or to 450 megawatt battery storage facility now obviously the government this is the goal one of the government's goal to uh, shift to 50 percent renewable energy by end of 2030 which a big big task if you think about it now obviously in terms of renewable energy you have electric electricity like what tesla is offering you have solar you have hydro you have wind so I think if more more countries are utilizing renewable source of energy, then you know our our countries are all for it, our environment is all for it, and our world is all for it here. Anyway, so if it's successful, uh, they're looking at a new neon. I, I don't know if it's called neon, uh, and Tesla's 100 to 129 megawatt battery farm in Hornsdale, South Australia here. So obviously the advantage here is that it could have uh, millions of savings for consumers as well as early adopters here. So we'll take a closer look here uh, what happens in the future. Hopefully our country can also develop uh, 
uh, something to that effect. I think there were plans to build a hydro plant here in our country here, but obviously we need to expand here, not just rely on fossil fuel here. Now there were plans of uh, rejuvenating the nuclear power plant, which is a terrible idea. We, we just have to look at the uh, past history on Chernobyl and then Fukushima as a great example because you know if those uh, first-rate uh, countries developed countries encountered those difficulties what more in our current state here because it only takes one small mistake to have a catastrophic event and you know the the, the disaster is still looming up to the present now thankfully for Ch uh, for Japan they're able to mitigate it as much as they can but that entire area has been cordoned off because yeah, you know the radiation will stay there for I think it's thousands of years so it cannot be inhabited uh, in the very near future even in Chernobyl still right so we, we need to be cautious in terms of which uh, technology we adopt but obviously nuclear power is somewhat enticing because of the immense power that it can generate for the the community here as well as the country as well.